Okay, so as you can see, I've done a much thicker... Uh, I stopped here and I started doing a much thicker tear out of material from here back. <clears throat> and due to the sled being tight, I only went from this edge over to here, about here, and stopped, and then back and back and forth. Now, this is uh, a pretty rough, uh, uh, it was pulling a large amount of material out of the, the work surface. And you can see that there is a lot of wood removed. It's quite a lot of material being removed. That was in one pass. Uh, it was bogging down the, uh, the router um, quite heavily, pulling this much out, which uh, this is about an eighth of an inch thick, which is still pretty deep for even a uh, motor-powered, electric-powered uh, motor router. I, I probably wouldn't do that even if I had a corded router with, uh, with more uh, horsepower to it. But the little Ryobi is doing quite well, considering uh, I had to switch over to a different battery. Uh, the first battery wore out, and so I had to swap into a new battery. And we were only using a half-inch straight bit. We're only pulling out a half-inch of material each pass. Um, but you can see that that hump from this board to these outer boards is removed. It is fairly flat. Now on the, so if I do one pass like this and pull out a decent amount of material, and then on the next two passes, remove even, you know, a smaller amount each time. Uh, I think the, the, finish of the surface will be better for the final run and then it will only require a little bit of sanding to smooth it up so that's and and we're also we're, we're using a a soft wood we're just using you know a pine two by six construction lumber or two by two by ten and two by eight construction lumber and that's it we're not doing anything uh no fine uh, woodwork, or no, uh, not fine woodworking, but no, no hardwoods at this point. It's just all softwoods, but it's doing quite good. So, very happy with it.